All right, I already started cutting and I forgot to turn the camera on. See, I always get that part problem, do that. Anyway, this is here 46 and a half. I just cut this piece at 46 and a half. Now I need to do this. This here will be 24, just about 24 and a quarter. In right there. Well, let's go ahead and put this side on. Good. And all I'm going to do is use four screws, basically one in each corner. To hold it in spot. All right, they're on there. Now I'm gonna try to figure out how what I'm gonna do here. How I'm gonna set it up. Um, kind of change them up a little bit here and there. Maybe every other one. See how that goes. Okay, I've got the clamp on here just to squeeze them to a little bit, little bit better, closer to get a little bit tighter. It's well within, I've got a quarter inch on the bottom. I'm just, I want that to be flat because that's going to be a top. But also I'm leaving like a gap right here on the edge. I'm going to cut clean, clean cut that later. All I'm going to do is, uh, if I had a nail gun, I'd be screwing in, banging in some nails, but I don't. Inside one. Here's my last one. All right. And like I said, I don't mind the gaps. I mean, right now we're perfect right there, right along here. I'm flat on top. Everything looks good. And all I'm doing is putting one nail, one screw in per board. And what I'll do is I'll put one more. No, I'm gonna put two across the bottom. Now what I'll go ahead and do is get my saw, and I'm gonna do a straight cut straight across. All right, I already got the mark scribed where I want it. Nice clean cut, as you can see, all the way across. Now I'm going to go do the other side. I got something here I'm thinking about. I need to make ventilation. One of these ends is going to get the heat lamp. Or I may put it up top. And then both ends have ventilation. I have some more of that, uh, that type screen. And... Uh, Putting ventilation here, on here, and on the other side. I just thought of that just now, so they don't get overheated while they're in there. Okay, I got the uh, I got the hole cut out, and uh, I cut the wire I have. I'm just going to basically lay it on there, and it ain't going to go nowhere once it's screwed down get the right where this thing needs to sit <clears throat> both both slots in there all right let me screw this down there we go there we go that's not looking bad Alright guys, once again, I'm terrible. I, I 
to get to turn the stupid camera on. Alright, I got this, this whole side is decked. Sorry, it's all decked, it's done. I cut the same hole out as the other side. And uh, I'm laying that back under there. There we go. There you go. Both sides are done, as you can see. So, anyway, I'm going to do this side, do this end, and um, I'm not too sure yet about the other end, how I'm going to handle it. Uh, I may be putting the a heat lamp up here and then venting both ends. We'll see. i got to think about that. But for sure, one end is going to get done. All right, here we go. Um, I I didn't think it was a need of me having to go through and and um, show you how to do the other two sides. What I did because you seen the other two sides, the first two big sides. So I just continued. There's that right here. I put I did put four vents all the way around. What I'm going to do is I've already tacked where these old nails were, banged them down a little bit, and I got the sander. And I'm fixing the okay I got the uh, the box lightly sanded all the way around and I've got it upside down right now I took out those two rails we talked about those support rails this it looks like lightly sanded anyway I got this upside down I figured how far up I want it I did want that vent this see this will be upside down I do need that vent being available which was right there so I did some figuring and I believe this is going to be a good height for what we need to do. So, uh, Alright, I got the uh, brooder on the stand and I'm going to make some changes. I wanna, I'll show you here in a second, but everything's on there. It's uh, it's screwed on. I want to put get some washers for those screws to help support a bit more. It does move around. I'm going to put a handle down low, down over here. But yep, it does look good there. I got to put a top on it still. But one thing I'm going to change is, and you'll probably all agree, is that uh, black thing right there. All that. I think I'm going to do away with it. Been working on a brooder, and now I have gotten. I'm making a handle. What I've made with the handle is, what I've done is taken two pieces of wood and this is going to be the handle. I kind of wanted to keep it the same thing like I did the barn door, the way the old days they would use wood for handles and doorknobs, whatever. I've already pre-drilled this. It all, I have already attached it to the top of this brooder as a handle just to make sure it's the right level and everything. I wanted to get that right and then I wanted to glue it. So what I'm going to do is, like I told you before, I glue everything I do and, uh, and then screw it together. So let me get some glue. I'm going to put some glue on here. We're going to put some glue on here. And I'm going to screw this together. Okay, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and screw these together a little bit, bring them in there some, just where it comes to the back, there it is, same thing with that one. Oop, too much. All right. Hats all on, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom of this. Then, like I said, I've already pre-glued, pre, pre-drilled this before. So all I'm gonna try to do is find the holes 
that I had already. There's that. Let me get it closer. And then we're just going to glue it, screw it down there. And like I said, I have already pre done it already once just to make sure it's all lined up right. And it is. It's in there nice and tight and it's glued. All right, the other thing I did was I told you the other day that um, um, I had all this set up, this was all done, but then I also had that black cover across the front. I didn't like it, so I took it off, and so that is off. That black was sitting right there, and being that this frame screwed solid to here there that was enough support and it's working good so and it does pick up it does roll i'm gonna let this glue set a little bit but there we go does roll moves really good i'll sand that down some more now i'm gonna go and put the cut the top and we'll go from there all right on this top I have allowed, I want to have like a quarter inch overhang on both sides. And I kind of already figured out over here, we're at about a half inch, I already measured it, we're good. So now I'm just going to take the pencil, take the pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and scribe down here. And then we'll flip it over. And there's my cut mark. I'm still going to decide how I'm going to run this light. But I believe I'm going to run the light through here. And we'll just see. Anyway, so here we go. Let me show you what I got here. And I have these hinges. Yeah, they're old. But you know what? <laughs> I got them for free. You know what I mean? There. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, let's turn that. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna mount them there. The other one over there, and we'll go from that. All right, you see I've got, I put the hinges on here on both sides. I went long screws down in here that went through the wood, those short ones. I was just worried about if there would ever be an issue. I don't want I can go ahead, and there's a big one. Just pick it up right there and go. And there we are. All right, everybody. Pretty much done with this brooder. Um, the only thing I don't have I need to do install is a heat lamp I'm going to put in here. But uh, here's the top. I did some vent holes. Uh, when I put the heat lamp in here, um, I'm thinking about just mounting it on top of this. I I'm not sure because I'll put it on this end. I got ventilation here, right there, all the way around. I also did ventilation here. On the other end, that's why I'm going to put the heat lamp here. So if they're hot, they, they need to be hot on this end, it's fine. If it's too hot, heat rises, they can be down this end cool. They do move around the birds. I did do this string, hold it up. I'm going to put another one over here, maybe. I'm not sure. And the only reason is I'm not too sure where I'm going to put that light. And here's the handle. I showed that earlier. It's drying. It's got glue on it. You can see pretty much it's dried up now. And that works. Pick that up. This thing rolls around, and I did take off that black that's right there. That's that whole tray that was across the front. I didn't like the way it looked, so there's that side. Looks pretty good. Here's the front, you would say, because of the handle. It does roll. And here's the back side. Looks good. This is always fun, isn't it? You keep adding on to do something. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day, and um, we'll talk to you later. Bye.